and this little girl is also missing her wings. Why have all these angels lost their wings? This is not good. Is it a Vegas angel thing? Yesterday was a day of a little self-care for me. I went and got a pedicure, got the eyebrows all fixed up. They were getting a little out of control. And uh, what self-care day would be complete without a little trip to Goodwill? So I was at this store mm, about two weeks ago. I don't normally go back to a store that soon, but hey, let's go see what they got and uh, have some fun. This is my favorite Goodwill. So let's have some fun. Let's go. I'm back at my favorite Goodwill and going straight to the little knickknacks. Unfortunately, precious moments and cherished teddies are just not good things to pick up for resale anymore. I did spot this. It looks like a Fontanini. Let's see if I can say that right. I was looking for the mark on it. Because even though they're like a rubbery plastic, they are usually marked. Now you can tell she had some wings. She was an angel. And she had a stick or a bow, excuse me, to play that violin. But those were both gone, which made her a pass. Now, this looked like Capodimonte, and sure enough, I turned it over. It has the Capodimonte sticker, but these are almost always broken. Yep, there it is. There's a big chunk missing. They are so fragile. I spotted this candle holder, which I thought was kind of unique because it had the handle, making it more like the, the chamber candlestick holder. And then I look over and like, oh, look, there's a second one. Things like this are always more valuable in a pair. And because there was two of them, I decided to pick these up. All right, now my blood is pumping. I love finding stuff straight in the door. Always gets me going. Now I spotted this metal fish dish. Say that 10 times fast. It was $5.99. So I was looking for a mark, hoping it was like Arthur Court, which is a really good brand. And I could not find a mark. So I decided to leave this guy behind. I might regret that. If he's still there next time, I'll probably pick him up. And then I noticed these little Tiffany style candle holders that are in the shape of a Christmas tree. And I know Christmas is over, but this is the kind of thing that's unique and you don't see all the time. So for 99 cents, I decided to take those home. The elephant was a toothbrush holder and I'm kind of squeamish about used toothbrush holders. Now these were Liberty Falls little houses. They were priced right. I, I love this Goodwill's pricing, but those just don't have a lot of resale value unless you have a whole bunch of them. I don't know what to say about this uh, chicken and this pig a tea light holder. I, I'll just leave that right there. Now I did spot this butterfly and it turns out this is Edith Greasy. I have no idea how you say that. And she's very desirable. Made by Hallmark, or not made by, distributed by, however you say that. She's worth about 30 bucks. And I'm just looking for more goodies. Now these usually hold those glass reverse painted ornaments, but that one was empty. And then what? Look. Oh wait, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, first this. Um, what in the world would you do with this? Put a candle in it? Put a plant in it? Uh, probably a plant for her hair, but it was really kind of bizarre. And that was just a really heavy pot. No, this is what I was already getting excited about. My little Labrador Retriever Puppies Tin Sign. Yes, I picked this up. Oh, I didn't even notice the ducks. There was ducks in there too. I spotted this nice little swan kind of Christmassy holder planter thing. But because we are so far now from Christmas, boom, leaving it on the shelf. 
This oddity is uh, uh, Home Goods, and it was $16.99 at Home Goods, so probably still has resale value, but I don't want to ship that. This is a Galileo thermometer, and these do pretty good. I just, it's not really my thing, so I will leave that for someone else. This was a strange shaped little vase. I know you're probably going to tell me I'm going to regret not picking that up, but it just, I just wasn't in the mood for it. And these are soap. I'm kind of looking because she brought some stuff out and plopped it, you know, as I was a little further over and looking. So I had to see what she brought out. Somebody's been buying the dolls. That shelf was full, full, full last time I was there. Got some steins. I tend to stay away from those. Now, just remember I said that later in this video. Glitter candles. Who doesn't love glitter candles? Me. <laughs> I left them. I was hoping they were those... Oh, those mid-century acrylic candles. I'm always looking for those. Again, our little Easter section is just really, really not doing well. And this little girl is also missing her wings. Why have all these angels lost their wings? This is not good. Is it a Vegas angel thing? Perhaps. Okay, I am such a sucker for these, these pie holders that are in the shape of a pie. This one's obviously a Christmas pie. And I did contemplate getting it. It was only $1.99. And then I spotted the chip. And that just helped me make the decision to leave it on the shelf. I'm sure someone will give it a good home though. But I do love these. Now, how did she get all the way over here? That is three shelves different from where she was before. Perusing the Christmas. These were all empty, like gift card tins. Now, I know I have looked at this guy before and he's still cute, and he's still got that Fitz and Floyd look, but he's not. And those, I don't even know what to say about those. Okay, I'm probably going to kick myself for not picking this up. It's made by Elucio in Motion. I think that's how you say it. E-L-U-C-E-O. Elucio? Lucio, I don't know. Um, these sell for some pretty good money. This this one, if it works, is like $35 to $40. The problem is I really stay away from anything that plugs in because those are the things I tend to find people go, oh, it doesn't work. And then they send you back the one that they had that didn't work that they wanted to replace. So that's just been my experience over the years, but it's a risk some sellers are willing to take. The Santa cookie jar was cool, but again, we are too far from Christmas. This was plastic, cheap plastic at that. Plastic in and of itself doesn't deter me, but cheap plastic does. Now I was looking to see if these were spowed, which you can tell by the little Santa Claus at the top instead of the star. And this caught me the last time too. It's funny, I, I keep picking up the same things if they're still there. But that's one of those like you paint it yourself kind of mugs. Not a lot of resale value. And then this. No, wait, I'll come back to that. <laughs> I, I contemplated getting this birdhouse for Rachel to put together and paint. And then I thought, nope, 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 nope. No more projects until the last projects are done. This, okay, this. <laughs> Now, I'm not quite sure. I think it says Tremoni, and I only found a Tremoni that's an artist, so I'm still going to have to dig a little bit more into that one. 
Then there was a humongous wood elephant who was misking, misking, missing his tusks. They did want $20, which actually is not a bad price um, because when they go to half price, he's only going to be $10. That's going to be a killer deal for somebody to pick him up. Just not for me, not today. And then I spotted this. This is native Canadian art, um, indigenous art. And I will figure out who that signature is. But it was only $1.99. So, uh, yeah, that's going in my cart. And this caught my eye a little diorama scene obviously handcrafted those are real little miniature pottery pieces i did i did contemplate getting this and then i thought you know shipping on it's going to be a little bit on the difficult side and i did decide to leave this one behind it's really okay i don't need to grab it all there's always more stuff Always. Little notebook. Actually did pick this up for me. And then this is a very uh, primitive vintage book holder, probably for a Bible. And the price was right, so I grabbed it. These were vintage, they're interesting, but they're just not really my cup of tea. So I did end up leaving these behind. They were $4.99 each, which also kind of made that decision for me. I'll leave those for somebody else. Now, this was upside down, and I just could not round the corner without turning that over and making it so someone could actually see it. All right, on to the next row. This little case is not that old. Now, I've said it before, I love these fake books. I have several of them. And I looked at this one and thought, mm, do I need it? And I thought, no, I don't need it. Remember I said that later. <laughs> and then this I expected to be really heavy and it wasn't. It felt like plastic. Now, this was cute and I looked and the original price at Ross was $10.99 and this Goodwill priced it at $3.99. Super reasonable pricing. I love this Goodwill. Now I thought I'd scored on this purple wall hanger vase here and looking it over, I realized that it had a pretty significant chip on the top as well as some minor chipping. So I left that one behind. little hobbies piece there. Okay, let's look through the vases. This one kind of had an interesting look to it, but when I picked it up, it just felt really cheap. And of course it did have the Made in China sticker on the bottom. Probably a vintage Made in China sticker, but it just didn't have that quality for resale. And not a whole lot here in the vases today. If I miss something, you be sure and let me know down in the comments. And then I spot this. This is one of those things I wrestled with. It was a big, tall, kind of a dusty cornflower blue bottle vase thing. And, and you'll see I did, I did set it back it did end up getting put in my cart. There was just something nagging me about picking it up. And then this one was a no brainer at 99 cents. I will take the fish bottle. I sell clear ones of these for 20 to $25. All right, we are on to the plates. I thought these had an interesting look and I had to see who'd done them. Oh, Gibson. Gibson does a lot of plate patterns. Generally speaking, don't pick up Gibson. It's not a good reseller.
this was interesting. It's a hand-painted plate from uh, Porta, Porta Vallarta. I know I said that totally wrong, probably. Um, but I did decide to pass on that. I'm not a big fan of plates. I still look, though. And as you'll see, sometimes they grab me. Like these. I saw these the last time I was here. And they struck me. And this time they're half off. So it's $1.50 for three plates. They do end up being Pier 1. So I'll make some money on them. I was scanning, hoping there would be some more of them. It's always good to find more. But generally, generally, you will find things in threes at a thrift store because people break one and then they don't want the set anymore because they're OCD. And instead of going and finding a replacement piece, they justify donating and getting something else. I thought these were glass at first. They're not. They're just ceramic bowls. I loved the honey hive, honey beehive <laughs> shaped dispenser, but I left it too big. And then these are um, vintage, probably antique, but I just don't do a lot with the gold rimmed glasses anymore. I used to, they used to be a, a big seller of mine. Well, what do we have here? Purple champagne glasses for 99 cents? Yes, please. I will take those. And nothing else real exciting in the glasses. There was some of these. Um, oh, wait. I'll get to it. See, I keep jumping ahead. Uh, these were interesting, but not interesting enough to pick up. But yes, these down here on the bottom. These are Mexican blown glass. And there was four of them, but... Um, as you'll see, I'm, I'm looking at the colors and I'm seeing if they match. So these two are a pair, but these two have a completely different color and even a thickness to the color. So that's why I left those behind. Lots of stemware but nothing exciting. Yes, I see more purple glasses, but those just don't excite me. There is more of the Mexican blown glass glasses, um, but again, I do tend to stay away because they're rather heavy and you have to sell them in sets to get a good price. And I just wasn't in the mood. Nothing real exciting in the mugs. I mean, I did like that saying right there. I'll come back to it. Doing a quick scan of everything first. Okay, yeah. Please don't make me adult today. Please. Thank you. All right. Onward. I spotted these little dishes. Um, Giotto is not a brand that sells real good. Oh, see that little divided dish back there? Thanks to you viewers. I now know that is a soup and sandwich holder or soup and crackers or soup and something bowl thing. <laughs> and then I spot, wait for it. Thought these might be Fiesta, had to peek. Come on, get that camera down there. There it is, see it? It's a sunflower. And I turn it over and I can see that it says Italy under that 99 cent sticker. So I'm looking to see if it's damaged because I'm thinking 99 cents, okay. <laughs> then this, okay, now this is a Mexican glass set I will pick up. Um, these are all hand blown. This is a tequila set with the decanter and the shot glasses. And as I'm trying to move it off the shelf, I knock the lid off of that and I decide I need my hands. <laughs> so here you go. This is what it looks like. It's all hand painted with fish. It's amazing. And it was only 10 bucks. It's mine. 
And then I spot this mug, which says just another Manic Mom Day. And it's a high quality mug. It doesn't even look like it's been used. So they did sell that to me for 99 cents. And for those who are new to the channel, I give all of these prices and values again at the very end. So make sure you stay to the end. This is a Staffordshire, Yorkshire transferware set of bowls. Probably should not have picked these up, but I like them. There was one lone little cup or mug and I decided to leave that behind because that doesn't have enough value to mess with. And then I spot him. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did it again. Okay, first I spot this. Um, this is a really nice quality crystal dish. And it sits like that. It's probably Italian. Um, but then, uh, just as I was about to get it, I noticed that great big giant chip. Ah, Hate that. Now, now I'm spotting him. There he is. I'm trying to figure out how to move him forward with only one hand. I gotta move some things out of the way and pull my little polar bear cookie jar up. He's a nice size. He's not a big gigantic one, um, which I liked, but he is by threshold. So he doesn't have enough value to sell on eBay and charge shipping. So I will take him to the booth and sell him for about 25 bucks. little dish. This has a nice feel to it, almost like a bone china, but I did leave that behind. And then I spot these coasters and they're quite heavy and they were only $4.99 to begin with. So those got left behind as well. These had a really nice look to them. I liked the flowers. Uh, I did end up looking these up and they just don't have the resale value so I put them in my cart, but then I did end up putting them back on the shelf, as you can see there. And I had to take a peek at this bowl down here, which you can see microwave dishwasher safe, so not, not super old. Okay, this is a just a wall hanging, I think, and it's a wolf or a fox. What do you say? Is it a wolf or is it a fox? Tell me down in the comments. I almost put it back and then I thought, you know what, for $1.49, yeah, I'm going to grab it. Why not? Wasn't sure what that was. And you see, they're bringing out a cart. So some other things I grabbed were this little South American uh, painting. It's only two bucks because it's half price. I did end up getting one of the fake books because it's got butterflies on it. I grabbed these off the cart that she was bringing out. Yes, I was allowed. Um, they are German Steins. These will be in an upcoming live sale. I also grabbed this really cute little painted green bottle, vase, bottle, whatever you want to call it. But that's it. That's my Goodwill haul.
I spent about a hundred bucks there and I got a big Sherpa blanket for the dogs, which was like, it was like almost 20 bucks of that. So, um, that was fun. I guess I'm going to come here more often. They really restock these shelves often. And I don't know if you can see, I have raindrops all over my glasses. Uh, it's raining. It's raining for the first time in almost a year in Las Vegas and I'm out shopping and I'm okay with that. I'm happy. Anyway, you will see many of these things show up in my Friday sale. Um, no, I take that back. Not this one. A week from Friday. This Friday is jewelry. And then I will be doing the hard goods again. I switch off every other week. Anyway, you see, if you go back and look, you, you'll kind of see the stuff that I put in the sales and which week we're on and all that. I'm so disorganized these days. I'm going to go home. I am going to work on organizing because it helps my brain. I'm going to work on my eBay, what I call my eBay room, where I put all my unlisted inventory, where all the listing takes place, and i um, thinking I'm going to try to film some of that so that I can share how that goes. There, I said it. I'm accountable. <laughs> Nothing else I'm going to take before and after pictures for you. So with that, I hope you are organized. I hope you are having a great day. And uh, I hope you are being profitable and making it fun because you need to go be profitable and make it fun. All right. See you on the next one, everyone. Bye.